Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason and this is your weekly sleep hypnosis session. Uh, every Thursday I make these videos. So the idea of this really is for you to just find different ways to calm your mind, to learn to let go, to learn to get in touch with how you physically feel, how you emotionally feel. And just allow yourself to do those things that are so natural to all of us, like sleeping, is the most natural thing in the world for us to do. All of us, for you, for me, everyone. And somewhere along the line, in your life, that natural ability is somehow being disrupted and it's time to correct that disruption so whatever that disruption whatever it is in your mind whatever that thing that gets in the way or has got in the way in the past of you falling into a deep healing natural sleep can now move away it can now just leave it's not useful anymore whatever it was doing in the past maybe it was there for a reason it was there to help you in some way so instead of you know being critical of yourself and you know being horrible to yourself and saying oh you're this you're that and you know, sort of having a go at that part of yourself that's been keeping you awake. Maybe you can like turn it on its head a little bit and say, well, I realized that you've been keeping me awake and you know, it's not a good thing for me at the moment, but maybe there was a time that that part had a use and Maybe you can acknowledge that, acknowledge that to that part and say, well, thank you for what you've done in the past. Thank you for your intention. And I guess the intention is still positive, but it just doesn't realize that it's no longer needed because falling into a deep healing, natural sleep is what you require. And you don't need anything that's going to get in the way of that. It's no longer necessary to have anything to get in the way of that. Your natural responses as a human being will be to wake up if there was an emergency. It's just we've all got that built into us naturally. So it's fine to just fall into a deep healing natural sleep easily and in a way that allows you to just let go so that when you do go to sleep when you do go to bed your mindset is different you're no longer um, worried you're no longer thinking about you know questioning whether or not you're going to get to sleep or you're no longer thinking about the past and difficult times maybe when you weren't able to fall into a deep sleep uh, as you wanted to but now you can do something different you can experience a different kind of mindset a different kind of thought pattern where when you lay down at night or whenever it is you intend to go to sleep there's no longer any pressure no pressure needed 
The last thing you need is pressure. That's the one thing that will stop you from sleeping. So the idea is to be able to relax your body and your mind. I mean, I don't know what it was like for you um, when you were younger, maybe for Christmas and stuff on Christmas Eve. That was the one night of the year, Christmas Eve, where I struggled the most to get to sleep when I was little, when I was maybe eight or nine, 10, 11, you know, that kind of age. Couldn't get to sleep, you know, I really wanted to get to sleep because I knew that the quicker I got to sleep, the earlier I'd wake up, you know, it would just, because time just goes, doesn't it? You go to sleep and you wake up and it's like a, a second's gone by in a sense. Not so much for me because I have to go to the toilet now. I'm now at that age where my prostate is uh, pretty pressing against my bladder and stuff. But that's, that's just a, a natural occurrence for people at my age. But those things about being, you know, uh, not being able to sleep when you're a kid because you're so excited about um Christmas and the presents and all that stuff. If that was every day, that would be annoying. It's doable once a year. It's doable on a Christmas Eve to have, you know, less sleep. And the reward is maybe the presents, you know, and the food and all the chocolates and stuff. But if there's no reason, if someone's lying in bed, not being able to sleep, and there's no reason behind it, then that's where it's of no use. But as I said that, I thought to myself, well, what if there is a reason? What if there is a reason for you not sleeping? Uh, in a sense of, is there something that you're worried about? Is there something on your mind? Are you going through a, you know, uh, problems with your job, relationship breakdown, problems with family, health problems? It could be just numerous kinds of things that can affect our lives. But it doesn't have to stop us from sleeping. You know, it's enough to have that during the day. You know, you need to sort of cordon that off and say, okay, I'll deal with that when I'm awake. Because you can't deal with it when you're asleep. You might have some ideas pop up that might be useful. But you'll have the same ideas or just as many ideas when you're awake. In fact, you'll have more ideas to help you to sort out difficulties when you're awake if you get a good night's sleep. So by sleeping well at night allows you more energy to actually deal with those situations that you may be struggling with during the day. So therefore it's a win-win situation in that sense. So what we could do is actually ask your unconscious mind directly to allow you to sleep. This is a direct communication between me and your unconscious mind and you also and your unconscious mind. We'll both ask your unconscious mind together to say, hey, thank you, you know, thank you for what you do for me. Thank you for all the things that your mind, your unconscious mind does, looks after your body, keeps your, you know, your heart pumping, keeps all the um, 
chemicals that's needed in your brain and the blood rushing through your body and all the you know various different things that I don't know about because I'm not an expert on that stuff but there's a lot of stuff going on in your in your body that we will never know about we might like might like in our brain know about it but we're not aware of it going on we're not necessarily aware of the healing process as it occurs so what we can do is actually thank your unconscious mind or that part of your unconscious mind that is responsible for your sleeping that's completely responsible for you sleeping thank it for what it's done so far because you have slept in the past you know we, we've all slept uh, might not have been the amount of sleep that you would like recently but we've all been able to sleep at certain times so if you can do something once you can do it again and something like sleeping we've done it many times in the past so therefore we can do it again obviously I say this and it's, it's an important thing if there's an issue with your sleeping connected to a physical condition then you do need to go to the doctor find out what the cause is if there's a cause yeah uh, like sleep apnea or you know whatever just make sure that you're okay make sure that um, you're fine but doing things like sleep hypnosis for sleep that wouldn't affect that anyway that would just uh, it means you'd fall asleep easier and uh, I do hypnosis for myself every night for sleeping self hypnosis because I have sleep apnea and one of the things I focus on when I do this sleep hypnosis is the airways through my throat being open at all times when I'm asleep so that I can breathe through my mouth and through my nose all through the night whenever needed and that I naturally adjust my body in a way that allows and keeps that airway open when I am asleep just so it's monitored and controlled so that my unconscious mind make sure that I'm okay make sure that I'm breathing so that the oxygen can get into my brain so that the ox can, oxygen can get into my lungs and be sent around my body and my blood and you know so I can be uh, healthy and alive so this is something that I would include now in any kind of hypnosis session like this specifically um, for people that perhaps have got problems physical problems and that's why they're not able to sleep but it might not be a physical issue it might be um, it could be lots of different things depression it could be uh, it could be medication even it could be side effect of medication but you know all that is in a sense is it's chemicals connecting with the brain and causing the chemical reaction hypnosis does the same thing hypnosis can also have a chemical reaction with hypnosis you can re-experience sessions of um, even things like drug taking you could re-experience that um, without actually taking the drugs you can re-experience feeling drunk without actually drinking any alcohol you can re-experience the sensations of love and uh, sex and you know things like that so you can have those you can spark off those triggers in your brain with hypnosis the same way you would do it when you inhale or drink or 
you know, put stuff into your body which then triggers your brain. It's just this way. It's uh, it's healthy. It's a healthy way to do it, I guess. I don't do that kind of stuff because I'm not really. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here more for the therapeutic side of um, hypnosis. But there are people that do that. There are people. I've seen people do it on online. So yeah, there are some some sites that do that kind of stuff. But for me, it's using the same technique, but for sleep. If you slept before, then you can sleep again. If you felt deeply relaxed before, you can feel deeply relaxed again. You know, if uh, whatever emotions or feelings that you've had before, you can re-experience that. So if I was a younger man and I was boxing, and I was gonna go into the boxing ring, I would re-experience before I got in there or before I started the fight, I would re-experience a previous situation in my life and get myself angry and get myself, you know, tunnel vision and completely focused on that situation um, in order to do what I needed to do. Um, In the same way, if you're about to do an exam, it's about getting yourself into a specific mindset, whatever that mindset is that you've used before, you can get back into it. it just takes a bit of knowledge and it takes uh, a bit of wanting to do it, I guess, you know, wanting to be back in that situation. Sometimes just by thinking about something, you know, really, really getting back into the, the memory of feeling deeply relaxed or feeling really, really tired can actually cause you to physically feel really, really tired. And in your, in your mind, feel really, really tired. It's just, it's a natural reaction. Sometimes somebody else can talk about you know, how tired they were. You know, they might tell you a story about how they'd um, been out, been up all night the night before and um, had to go to a lecture at nine o'clock in the morning. They'd only had an hour and a half sleep. And they kept falling asleep during the lecture and it was the hardest thing in the world to keep their eyes open and the more they tried to keep their eyes open the heavier their eyelids got and the more deeper into sleep they fell and it was a case of literally instantly falling into a dream to the point where they couldn't really tell the difference between what was going on and what was a dream because they were constantly going in and out of a dream and every time they closed their eyes, they started dreaming instantly. That's how tired they were. And their body was so heavy and they couldn't get out of the chair at the end of the lecture because if they just felt so heavy, they felt twice the weight that they normally do. And their eyes was like they were glued shut and just so difficult to actually open them. And they couldn't, and it got to the point where they disrupted the class because they were snoring and apparently it took 10 minutes to wake them up. They were so tired and asleep that they just fell into the deepest sleep that maybe they've ever had before and dreamt instantly and completely drifted off to the point where the lecturer or the person that was talking just drifted into the background and anything that was said by anybody or any sounds really didn't make a difference. They were just like clouds passing by in the sky, really making no difference at all, just floating by. And that feeling of feeling completely relaxed, asleep, deeply asleep felt so comfortable that there was nothing they could do about it. It was just drifted, 
further and further away. And there's something quite powerful about being able to feel that way. To be able to just let go in a sense that there's nothing for you to do. You really can just enjoy feeling relaxed and calm and drift off into a natural, healing, healthy sleep. So if your eyes are closed already, that's fine. If they're not, you can close your eyes if it's safe to do so, making sure you're sitting in a comfortable, safe chair or lying down on a flat surface. I'd just like you to just be there with me. You don't have to do anything. I'm just going to ask your unconscious mind, the part of your mind that's responsible for you sleeping deeply. First of all, I'd like to communicate with that part. And I'd like to say thank you to that part of you responsible for you sleeping deeply. I'd like to say thank you for all the times that you have allowed you to sleep deeply and naturally and for all the healing that goes on when you are asleep. I'd also like to ask you from now on, from this day onwards, to please allow you to sleep longer and more naturally, to just drift off into a deep sleep. So there's kind of like a trigger goes off whenever you lie down and your head touches your pillow, your mind just empties. And all those problems, worries, issues that you might have had previously before you've decided to lie down and go to sleep, just switched off. just left there, lying on your bed, comfortable, instantly, your whole body relaxed, calm, loose, and nothing going on in your mind, all quiet, and just please allow that mind to just let go. Please, can you allow each part of your body, each muscle, to just release, one by one, all at the same time. You can just let go of all the muscles in your body, and the skin which covers your entire body can turn into sleep. All the muscles in your body can also turn into deep sleep. And your mind also joins your body by turning into deep sleep. I'd like to ask that part of your unconscious mind responsible for you sleeping deeply to allow you from now on to instantly and naturally fall into a deep healing natural sleep whenever your head touches the pillow your entire body will Completely relax, as will your mind, allowing you to just let go deeply, completely.
completely relaxed in such a way that it's kind of hard to even hold any type of thoughts because thinking is no longer necessary at this point forward you can just enjoy sleeping easily I'd like to ask that part of you that's been responsible for the past that part that's disrupted your sleep in the past just to say thank you knowing that there is at one point a positive reason for that disruption but now please let go now please disappear you can watch it it's like a piece of ice in the sun just melting away and that part where it used to be in the brain that gap that's been left has now been filled with that part of you that sleeps easily and naturally so it's changed something profound has happened in this very moment your mind chemically has physically changed so that from now on you will sleep easily and naturally and you can enjoy knowing that you're the person that has made these changes you have allowed yourself to grow you have allowed yourself permission to from now on sleep deeply and naturally and instantly whenever your head touches your pillow you'll just drift off into a deep healing sleep and all the muscles in your body instantly relax and all the thoughts in your mind instantly disappear and that part of your brain that causes sleep is instantly triggered so that your body and mind fall into a deep natural healing sleep And this will happen from now onwards. It's so easy and so simple for you to enjoy making these changes in your life that transform not just now but your future. Because you can start to think to yourself if you can change this what else can you change? How else can you transform your life? And you 
can just enjoy feeling these waves of pleasure and accomplishment spread over your body from your head all the way down to your toes feelings of appreciation knowing that you are an amazing person and you are loved and this brings us to the end of this weekly sleep hypnosis session every Thursday I'd like to thank you for watching and for listening and I'm going to count to three and if you choose you can wake up when I get to three of course if you choose to just stay asleep or drift into a deep healing natural sleep then that's your choice one two and from now on you'll feel so instantly relaxed and calm just the thought of going to sleep can cause you to feel tired and when you actually lie down and your head touches the pillow it's a trigger for your entire body to relax all at the same time and your mind to empty allowing you to drift off into a deep healing natural sleep three if you wish you can open your eyes feeling wonderful and awake and completely relaxed or you can just drift back off into a deep healing natural sleep feeling wonderful and calm thank you for watching if you want you can download this mp3 just by clicking the link below which is in the description box if you're watching YouTube you take care and I'll see you next Thursday bye